It's simply delicious. Hi there, today we'll be making a delicious meal and these are all the ingredients I'll be using. You want to stay tuned for this one. This is a healthy meal that everyone in the family would enjoy. So first I have my crayfish already blended. I have chopped onions, that's a lot of onions for this recipe. I have pepper, fresh pepper precisely, palm oil okay you can use choose to use granite oil but we are making this the local nigerian way and this is my fermented ogiribo okay it's made from locust beans sesame seed water and salt and it just add extra flavor to the meal and then i have a pinch of salt or a little salt <laughs> i'm not going to be adding much because the ogiribo already contains salt and then i have banla fish okay next i have my pumpkin leaf aka ugu leaves you can choose to use any leaf of your choice you can use spinach you can use kale you can use african spinach as well and then i have plantain these are unripe plantain but i'm still going to be adding ripe plantain you can choose to use yam or potatoes and i will just show you the process of how i'll be using all these ingredients okay you want to stay tuned and watch now i'm just going to be peeling the back of the bananas of the plantain and i'll be creating a line on the body just so that it can you know cook properly because i'll be using an air fryer for this process now you can choose to boil yours or you can choose to fry or use an oven but i'm going to be using the air fryer and i will just grease the air fryer with vegetable oil so that it doesn't stick to the basket of the air fryer okay so i have greased this now and then next i'm going to be allowing it to preheat for at least five minutes okay you just don't want to go directly putting in your plantain you want to preheat it for at least five minutes so that it can heat up a bit and it makes the whole process faster now it's done preheating i'm just going to be aligning the plantain in the basket of the air fryer you can choose to put a foil paper but i don't have any one currently so i'm just going in directly into the basket with the plantain and then i would allow this to cook for about 25 minutes after on, on um, 195 degrees after which i'm going to pull it out and you will see what it looks like okay so make sure you allow your plantain or your yam or potatoes to boil properly you don't want to be eating half done plantain okay next i'm slicing my green or vegetable pumpkin leaf and i'm going to be slicing it little by little i want i like it very tiny okay so i don't personally i don't like slicing my green in the market or my vegetables in the market i bring it home wash it properly and then slice but you can choose whatever works for you okay and like i mentioned you can use any vegetable of your choice right so i'm just slicing it thinly and then i'm going to be preheating my palm oil in a pot okay next i'm going in with my chopped onions and i'll allow this to saute a bit and then at this point if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe join the family i had to transfer the oil to another pot okay and you can choose to use any pot of your choice what is available to you so i'm going in with the ogiri bowl. this just adds extra flavor you can decide to use a roux or the dry one but i'm using the um local ogiri ibo all right the one that is wet you can use a roux like i mentioned so i'm just going to turn that in so that it can melt into the oil and now your kitchen is scenting <laughs> okay so i've got it with my fresh pepper i mean you need to add pepper to this dish so that you can feel the flavor properly you know it gives just that added spice to your 
meal now i'm going in with my banla fish this is actually optional you can choose not to add fish or you can choose not to shred it but i just like shredding it so that for every scoop i will take fish you know what i mean now <laughs> so i'm just going to stir this and then you will see the next step all right so now i'm going in with a pinch of salt all right or little salt it's very important for you to put small salt so that you don't end up with a salty meal all right like i said the ogiri bowl contains um a bit of salt in it and now i'm adding crayfish i love adding crayfish to dishes like this especially local nigerian dish because it just adds another flavor to whatever you're cooking and the next thing i'm going in with my pumpkin leaves aka ugu leaves you see how easy it was to make this meal some people choose to add tomatoes into theirs but this is a very simple meal just to give extra blood you know <laughs> what i mean so i'm just going to allow this to mix up with the base the ingredients that's the oil and the fish and then i will turn it remember you don't need to cook your vegetables for long so that it doesn't lose its nutrients and it's important that you do this on low to medium heat okay now i'm just stirring and stirring it and you can see how it looks like it's all greeny leafy and it looks so so good and trust me the taste and the aroma of your kitchen at this point is divine all right so i'm just going in with a bit of crayfish and a little salt because i noticed that it was less salty so i just added i'm going to add a little salt to it again and crayfish just for it to you know taste good since i did not put any salt in the plantain or in the yam but it's important that you do that little by little see how it looks ah this is healthy a healthy meal that you will definitely enjoy okay which other ingredients would you like to add to this meal so i'm just dishing it out in a plate and then i'll be serving it with our plantain okay this is a very good meal that can be used as lunch or dinner okay if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe leave a comment tell me how you would want to make this dish all right and if you're here for the first time thank you so much to all my subscribers god bless you i see your comments just let me know what you think about this dish and if it's something that you'll be willing to try in your home okay and trust me you enjoy this dish this plantain is just divine thank you so much and see you in the next video